This is sad. I'm like actually borderline depressed. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Janon. I do all things Sims 4. And today, we're going to do a continuation of our riches to rags. And today, what we're going to do is we're going to just try to figure out how we can make some money. And because everybody's starting to watch this, I know what I want to do now. I want to rent out the place because I know I can do that now. Thanks to some people who watch the channel. I'm going to, you know, fly their channel here right now because i can't symposium or something like that sims posium big shout out to them man like they be they, they they rock with me and i love that so i'm really grateful for the fact they're like hey you know what just rent some rooms out and that's what we're gonna do also i'm really worried about nika so i want to make sure that nika's good to go because i don't want nika to be on like I just don't want her to be like I don't want Nikki to get sick and and you know pass away. So I I gotta keep an eye on her. And uh, Jennifer Jenny is on this like whole different level of like she's not sure about Nard villain and she's like drunk text drunk texting like and an ex lover and all that. So let's see what where that goes. So let's hop into the game. So I'm gonna have Narville in place an ad for roommates just to see exactly how that process works. I've never done this before, so we're all gonna experience this together. I'm really hoping that the whole like roommate situation works out because if I can get people to pay and I can somehow come up with 88,000 simoleons, that'd be awesome. All right, placing an advertisement. An advertisement has been placed for a new roommate, fingers crossed, for perfect roommates only. All right, looks like Jenny's gonna be an old friend and, uh, you know, just catch up and see what's, you know, going on in life. Because she's, she's honestly really not happy right now. You know, like, Narvillain's doing his thing, but, like, when she met Narvillain, he never mentioned anything about struggling. About having, like, this big mansion and, and having, like, an 88,000, you know, simoleon, you know, bills, you know. So, she's kind of, like, disappointed. And comment in the comment section, like, like, what, what, what's attractive for you? You know, like, are you into, like, what, are, you, do you like support from your significant other, or do you like, uh, what, what, like, is finances important to you? Like, how do you feel about finances? You know, like, cause that's important in relationships. Cause a lot of people like to feel secure, you know. So, those are things that you gotta ask, you know, ask about when it comes to relationships. So anyway, she's gonna talk to an old friend, Excellent lover, exactly. whatever, and. See what happens from there. Now, this is supposed to be just a, you know, a friendly, casual, platonic date, catch up. Even though they've dated in the past, we'll see what happens. To me, honestly, like, I don't think those work out. I feel like if you're, I honestly don't think you can be friends with a significant, a past ex significant oh, other on this level where you're going out yeah. and, and actually oh, having dinner. Comment in the comment section. What do you guys yeah, think? Shippy. Do you think you can yeah. legit like hang out Breathing. with like someone you dated Adriana. before while in a relationship and it's rocky? Yeah. Like, can you li like literally have a friendship with an ex yeah. like that? Yeah. I don't know. Like, it's it's Killing everybody's yeah. different. Yeah. But for me, like. I mean, I can have a friendship, very minimal friendship with someone, like a significant other. Um, but I don't know how I feel about hanging out like this, you know, like going out on like a dinner date or whatever. Knowing that I'm not really... Well, we don't know if Jenny's happy or not in a relationship. I think Jenny's happy in a relationship, but she would have never moved into the mansion, you know, but who knows? All right, so they're just hanging out, waiting for like a you know table, and they're gonna go hang out, catch up a little bit, talk a little bit about you know what you know what's life is you know what well, how's life these days you know <laughs> oh you know a little little you know hugging and all that good stuff. I feel like you can't really you know there's nothing there's no harm in a, a little hug you know. Well, this is probably my fault, but Jenny just aged up into regular adulthood. But we're gonna rock with it. We're gonna rock with it. But it's all good though. We're gonna get, you know, we're gonna get a couple of drinks in, and we're gonna have some food, and we're gonna even bring out a cake and all that, and still have her celebrate with, obviously, I hate to say it, but her ex, her ex boyfriend. So we'll see what happens. All right, she's about to order for the table. She's gonna get like, I'm thinking like, let's get some uh, 
Let's get a tequila. Let's get some tequila sunrises going. Stevie. I ain't yeah. gonna lie, man. I feel real. I feel a little weird about this. I mean, Jimmy's out here hanging out with her ex boyfriend and have Asha hanging out with her ex boyfriend on her birthday. Nar villain should have been on point with this. Nar villain been too caught up on like. Thinking about uh, finances and Shibi, all this Yala. other stuff, and he's got marble. this big mansion he's trying Been to better. like yes. upkeep, but he forgot about uh, like the simple stuff. Like it's her Nigel. birthday right now. Now she's hanging out with her ex boyfriend, and they're about to have a good time. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Keep in mind too, it's like three in the morning right now. You know, Narvin is like, where is Jenny right now? <laughs> It's her birthday and she's not even home. I mean, I'm pretty sure they've been like having some sort of communication, but still, this is crazy. Bronze medal too. That's horrible. This is this was a horrible day. They haven't eaten yet. Yeah, their food never came, so it looks like I'm gonna have to just like it's like five in the morning. We gotta get we we gotta resume life. So I guess we're gonna just uh, send Jenny back home and go from there because they didn't send the food out and it's been like literally eight hours and i guess i got i have no one to thank but freaking sims four all right looks like narville and finally sat down to eat jenny's gonna join them talk a little bit about her night probably just say like hey i went out I went out with some friends sorry about the late night uh we went and ordered food food never came so we're gonna give them a really horrible ass bad review and we're just gonna see what happens, you know? Like, Marvel is like, you know what, whatever. Uh, I gotta tend to Nika, and I'm gonna eat, finish up what I gotta do, and just go from there. Grips up. It looks like the, uh, it says here that the uh, roommate thing has been taken down. So I'm not sh too sure if that means that we, we didn't get a, uh, we didn't get anybody, or I accidentally, oh, that was let's see. Looks like I might have accidentally like removed the roommate advertisement. So we're gonna redo it. All right, looks like Jenny's gonna head on to work. 8.31 and no sleep. That's gonna be awesome. About fair, I'm pretty sure she can still do her thing. She's a little, she's running a little late, but she'd be okay. And let's see what narvel has got. narvel has got to work in, an, in another hour or two. But it looks, yep, he's got to go to work too. So he is somehow not happy so he's just gonna tear down some toy houses all right looks like nar villain's heading to work so basically jenny went out hung out and nothing happened and they just kind of chilling so it's been like a really low-key sunday and now it's monday morning and they're gonna go off to work and uh come back and see what happens at the work. Oh, nice! Nar villains got promoted to clickbait writer. He will now make an additional six dollars per hour for a grand total of twenty nine per hour. He has also received the following bonus: one hundred eighty three simoleons. He can now respond to mail, and he can also share images. And his next shift is at nine a.m. on a Tuesday, which is tomorrow. So he's now considered a clickbait writer. That's pretty dope. All right, Narville, you got promoted. And we have 1160 simoleons. Oh, wow. And Jenny just got promoted to being a teaching assistant. So Jenny has been promoted to te teaching assistant. She will now make an additional $10 per or 10 simoleons per hour for a grand total of 32 simoleons per hour. She also received the following bonus. She's received an extra additional 425 simoleons. And A is for an apple clock. So she's got an apple clock. And what else does that say here? Uh, yeah, cool. And she's got a basic, a typical nine to five or eight to four on Monday through, uh, Monday through Friday. Perfect. Yes, I love that. I love that. But they only got 17... 156 simoleons that's nothing uh we still gotta get some roommates so i'm hoping that we can figure out if we can find out if we get some roommates that'd be dope um that'd be really that'd be really awesome and look oh my god look at uh oh okay okay oh so basically dallas is inviting her on a date so we'll go on a date with dallas 
And that is Jenny's ex-boyfriend. So we'll see how that goes. Now our villain doesn't have to know about this. Alright, looks like she's back out here on another on date number two. So let's hopefully get a table and actually have a real meal. Because the last time they were at another restaurant, they didn't even get a chance to talk or hang out or even have a meal because I guess the game was glitchy. So we'll see what happens. She's really, really tired. Huh? Bad hygiene. Boy. She's not having fun at all. Look at look 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 at her emotions right now. Uh, I don't think this is gonna work out. She's like, I got promoted. I had a really good day. The least I can do is at least treat myself to a nice meal. See what's up. I even got roommates here hanging out. So if all else fails, I can just go hang out with some roommates, you know? Now we're just gonna reminisce a little bit, catch up a little bit. As I mentioned earlier, like, what do you guys think? Like, is this is, is this okay though? Like, is this okay to like hang out with like a like an ex boyfriend? Like, really? I mean, I get it, they're catching up and stuff, but like, I don't know, like, like she's in a vulnerable situation right now, you know? So I really don't know how, like, what what is the like, what is the true motive for them to be hanging out right now? And here's the crazy thing about it. She's literally talking about, like, the situation she's in. She's like, look, I moved out of the uh, my roommate situation. Like, you know, I was hanging out with all my roommates. Met this guy, Narvillain, and he just, like, well, hey, you know, we ended up being a boyfriend-girlfriend, and I moved in, and power shut out. Now the water shut out. And, yeah, things are, like, really not looking good. I talked to my roommates about it, and they're like thinking, like you know, you need to find somebody that's super supportive and actually has legit security. And that's my question to all my people who are actually watching this. Like, what are your what are your thoughts about this? Like, like what are you looking for? Like, is security important for you? Like, like where do you stand when it comes to like a man being very, uh, so, you know? supportive and financially supportive like does that mean is does that equal out to being supportive for you because a lot of people want security and narvillain doesn't offer security right now so is that a turn off for a lot of people it's a good conversation it looks like um, things aren't really working out as planned again, and it looks like she's too tired, and her hygiene is horrible, and once again, food hasn't been ordered, so um, I'm just stuck at a point right now where I think he even left. Oh, there he is. Okay, cool. He's still here. Perfect. So let's just like you know keep get a conversation going, order some food eat and see what happens from there yeah it says well that that was a nice time i'll call you later and they haven't even eaten yet it's weird i think i think there's a glitch she remembered the fact that she didn't have her like legit birthday party so they got a cake so that's always good so we'll have a cake reminisce a little bit and go from there yips Having the worst luck ever with the with the game, Ooh, but yeah. she did get a glass of wine in, so that's always nice. And the date's over, by the way. So, let Jenny decided to just play some music real real quick for everybody. We'll send her home, call it a night. And then Narvillain showed up just in time, right before closing, to come here and grab him a drink. He missed. He obviously missed Jenny. Jenny was just here. She said she was gonna be here. He just happened to show up and was like, I'm just gonna come here and grab a drink. Nothing happened though. So, that's always a plus. Drinking those drinks pretty quick. You know, and our villain's just talking to the bartender, just saying, hey man, like, things are good, but you know, things could be a lot better at home. But I just wanted to come through a drink. Come, you know, come kick it, have a drink real quick. Step out. Have go home and go to bed. Made it back to the crib. We're gonna just gonna have Jenny just go use the restroom and then go to bed and just have her sleep it up and then go to work the next day. But I honestly feel like we should get roommates soon. It's been two full days and we haven't heard a word from people who are interested in renting out a room. So we need to figure that out too. Arbin Wexa!
Yeah, Jenny's like real. Her hygiene is horrible. She's hungry. She's tired. She's not having fun. But we're gonna try to get some of these things boosted up. Like we're gonna get her to sleep so her energy level can go up a little bit. When she wakes up, we'll feed her, and then at some point we'll go back somewhere where we can at least give her boost her hygiene up. And then Narvillain, same thing. Narvillain at some point is gonna need to take a shower, boost his hygiene up. He needs to be social, and he's also have to go somewhere and have a little bit of fun. They're uh, uh, depressed, for sure. Stubborn. This sucks. Now, who would be happy in this situation? Huh? No one. No power, no water. Relationships taint. Like, relationship is, like, horrible right now. So, they got to work on a lot of things right now. The only thing I feel like I can do, to be honest with you, is just, like have him go for a swim hoping that this will boost his fun up a little bit as you can tell it's still in the red and it's not even going up at all so we know that swimming isn't fun for him so we'll go ahead and just have him like maybe play some piano or something maybe that'll boost you know his fun a little bit and it looks like it's time for jenny to go to work in another hour so we'll go ahead and wake her up so that way she can at least eat real quick and go to work before she's, you know, look at her. Wow, she's like mad dirty. Look at that. Wow. This is depressing. I gotta step my game up with this. This is hard. I mean, look, they got 1,500 some simoleons. No power, no water. They're not getting along. And there's not much I can do. We just place an, you know, place an ad for roommates, but no one's responded. So I don't know. I don't know how long, you know, I don't know how long Jeannie's gonna last. I don't know how long she's gonna wanna deal with this. And Nari villain's kinda, you know, doing his thing on the piano. He's got like a few more minutes before he goes to work and he's like, I'm just trying to boost my fun up a little bit. His fun is going up a little bit, but not a lot. So we'll see. Finally, Jenny's eating, so that's nice. And she's off the work. Look how dirty she looks. She's a teacher and she's about to go off the work like that. I'm so sorry, Jenny. Your living situation is the worst. And I apologize. I'm gonna be honest with you. She knew what she was getting into. This is not my fault. It's not Narvillain's fault. I honestly think it's her fault. She knew what she was getting into. It looks like Narvillain's off the work too. Both off the work on a lovely Tuesday. And when they come back, I think I might just wrap it up. I was hoping to get some drama, but shoot, no drama at all, huh? A whole hour worth and no drama? Nika has failed to pay her bills for too long. The utility company has sent a professional to repossess her valuable items. So we got the repo man coming through now. Wow. So Nika possession has been repossessed and are no longer hers anymore. This has somewhat helped her to dig her way out of debt. However, if she owes more money, she had, she had better pay it or else she can expect more visits from the friendly neighbor repo person. And I don't understand why it's uh, Nika being repossessed, but again, we're playing Sims 4 here. And then Nara brought home 174 simoleons today. He did such a great job, but no promotion. Um, so yeah, still there's no power though, there's no lights, they're repo re repoing stuff. Look at look at repo man. Look at a repo man just coming repo lady actually coming through, repo repossessing stuff. It's weird that they trying to repossess Nika stuff. Like Nika doesn't even own this home. Jenny's home, and she's also dirty. Needs needs a little bit of uh Needs a nice little shower, and she needs to have a little bit of fun. I might actually send both Jenny and Narvillain out just to get out of the house and just, you know, get clean and have some fun. So I'm going to send them to a bowling alley. Wow, you can't even travel because it says here you cannot save while the repo person is actively repossessing. So I can't even leave the premises until the repo man comes through. Wow, the repo guy's like re re repossessing stuff. So I gotta figure out how to just deal with that. I was, I'm just trying to get out of here. 
Nikki's possession has been repossessed and are no longer hers. So yeah, they keep repossessing stuff, but I don't know why they're like referencing Nika. This is sad. I'm like actually borderline depressed because I wasn't expecting this it to be this bad. Dude, look how bad this floor is. That's horrible. And look how bad she looks. She hasn't showered in like days. All she's done so far has like washed her hands. Oh, Weeby. Weeby. The Narvel is the same. Hasn't showered in a few days. He's depressed. He's not having fun. I mean, he got that, you know, he's got that raise. But, I mean, look at him. They got like 1,900 simoleons. What that's going to do? Bills are like 80,000 some simoleons. All right. Jenny making some uh, little grilled chicken joints. Got love some grilled chicken on the grill, you know. Uh-oh. Yeah, can't beat some grilled chicken on the grill, man. Yeah, buddy. Dang, look how dirty she looks. Wow. <laughs> Aw, look at him trying to be a little romantic. They stink. They really stink. Oh, Dang, look how dirty they look. Wow. Uh-oh, giving her the cold shoulder. It's like... Yeah, you... You guys are both stained. Oh, you bara! Huh. Looks like Nari Villains is gonna play with Nika for a little bit, and uh, we're just gonna say Ooh. things just weren't meant to be. And uh, I asked you guys a couple questions about relationships and stuff like that. Be sure you comment on that in the comment huh. section, and uh, shoot. I guess until next time, I see you when I see you.